Good morning. It's Apostle Ross and Solomon. This is Ross and Solomon's YouTube channel. Today is November 3rd, 2022. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 2023 octavia octavia 2022 okay so i got um this week's word for you from now to um next friday and that beat you're hearing is my daughter she made this beat i'm gonna use it on my radio show intro but i just wanted to try it out on y'all here see how y'all like it let me know how you like her, her, her beat she makes a lot of my beats now um a couple of my songs coming out next year she did the beat all right so here we go the lord said things there are things that we all need to put together in correct order spiritually mentally and physically the lord said that we need to ask him for more wisdom knowledge and revelation and discernment discernment be in this world um according to everyday things that we do his instruction his task we need to start asking him for wisdom knowledge and revelation every day and well you thank him once and then you turn around every day and thank him for increasing it in you because knowledge is power right wisdom is riches wisdom is the glory of the rock now the lord said that he's going to give us a lot of you know encouragement and strength and clarity he's going to clear clear up a lot of things for us to be able to deal with our issues that require our attention the lord wants us to just trust in him and allow him to go before us and place our steps and direct our steps um study psalms 119 but i'll give you one verse he said look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is toward those who love your name um, it also says, direct my steps, steps by your word and let no inequity have dominion over us, over you. So basically, the Lord is just saying, you know, he's cleaning us up, you know, not just on the outside, but on the inside. First, he cleans on the inside, then he cleans on the outside, right? So, you know, just pray and say, God, is there anything that requires my attention that I don't know that acquire, that requires my attention so that we can fix this and get this done with? You know, because God is removing blockages and roads, uh, you know, hard roadways out of our lives because of the trusting he's about to do. And me and him was just talking the other day and I was like, Daddy, this year has been one of the roughest years out of a lot of years. And I said, and out of the past four years, this January will make into January for as far as the, the COV. I said, this was a rough one. And I said, I know next year is going to be even more rougher, especially with the food chain. You know, it's going to be certain foods we ain't going to be able to find. I told y'all this a couple years ago and it came to pass. And now I, I'm telling you again, it's going to be certain things you're not going to be able to find next year. And when you do find them, they're going to be very expensive. You know what I mean? So, you know, stock up on stuff you like olive oil, you, you know, bread, stuff like that. Buy you some bread batter and stuff. Buy you a, a bread maker, you know, or just learn how to make bread, you know? I'm going to teach y'all how to make some bread in another video. I'm going to try and do the bread in front of y'all. I don't know how that's going to come out, but Lord help me. I'm, I'm going to try it, y'all. I'm going to try it so y'all can see. And it's an easy way to make bread. Y'all be like, what? <laughs> right? So um, just trust and ask God, you know, to show you where you need to put your attention to, to get things straight. And then also ask God, be like, God, is there anything that the enemy could use to block me from, from getting any type of wealth transfer or, or any inheritance or anything financially, a house, a car, a husband, wife, whatever it is you've been waiting on God to give you and you've been waiting for the keys for him to give you to bind and loose, right? um ask god be like daddy um is there anything that the enemy could use against me you know to stop your plans for me because if it is i want to stop it out right now you know i want to i want to repent or whatever i need to do you know i want to get rid of it you know i want to cast these demons out and then another thing the lord was told told me the incubus the succubus demons they still your inheritance they still your wealth they still your marriages 
um they can still your your ministry um this is why some people start up stuff and it don't work out for them on the youtubes and facebooks whatever you know radio shows whatever it is they trying to do they they can't get a following right and then some people are impoverished and suffering financially because their incubus succubus demon that they're dealing with took these things so you have to go to god and ask god to get these things back from these demons or or just remove their barricades because they put barricades blockage density density gates um evil timelines um ask god to collapse those evil timelines collapse those evil seasons collapse those evil layers collapse those evil anchors um and undo and unalter all the things that they altered in your life remove these things and say god you are a mighty god nothing can stop you i don't care you know what this incubus succubus demons do or what other demons do father they they have no power to block me anymore i don't care if they still got legal rights because we're taking them away but they don't have no power to block me anymore father so prosper my life prosper my job my career my marriage my future marriage um give me back my inheritance give me back my wealth whatever it is i'm supposed to have that they took from me give me back my ministry give me back my open doors my opportunities whatever it is give me back my health if, if they took your health because they do that too give me back my solitude help me to not be so isolated because they isolate you a lot too. help me to have friends more friends that are like-minded like me father you are most powerful these demons cannot stop me father god and yeshua's name so father i i sit and i wait for you to do these things for me which i know you're going to do and remove anything that's blocking it and thank you for the keys to bind the loose in the name of yeshua jesus right um also the lord said um that you can't please everybody you could please some people but you can't please everybody all the time you know what i mean and you have to put yourself first yes we we gotta help our brothers and sisters right but what good are we to them if we can't help our own self you know you busy helping everybody else and you lacking you know what i mean and then when you need help ain't nobody in sight or oh, i ain't got it you know i don't have time uh, I can't do it. You know what I mean? Or if they promise to pay you back and they'll pay. That's why when I get people money, tell you the truth, y'all, I don't even look for it to come back. I don't look for it to come back from them. You know who I look for to? The Lord. Because I know God going to hook me up. If I need something, I know daddy's there. You know what I mean? I know he's going to make sure my bills is paid. Everything. You know what I'm saying? So if the people do give me the money back, that's just a double blessing. If they don't, it's all right. Because I know God going to take care of me. So that's the mindset I have. When people, you know, now people ask me for money. I always go to God. And I'll be like, God, should I give it to him? He'll say no. And he'll say yes. Or he'll say, he'll say give him less or give him more. Because God knows my pocket. You know what I mean? And many of people he has told me to turn down because they try to take advantage of me. Some people from the ministry, our family, just in life. You know, he will tell me to tell you a person no in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right. So God says, stop, you know, taking care of everybody else and take care of yourself first, then others. He said, don't let your family wear you down. Don't let your family use you or drain you. Because a lot of us got energy vampire demons in our family members that want to drain us. You know what I'm saying? God said, appreciate the good people in your life. Appreciate the good family members in your life. As a matter of fact, appreciate him first, Mama Ru and Shua. Um, all your leaders that you follow that's feeding you, um, developing you, maturing you, bringing you closer to God. You need to appreciate them. The ones that's teaching you mad truth, you know, delivering you through the hands of God. You need to start appreciating them. You know, God said we need to start appreciating the good in our lives and the good people in our life because goodness and good people are very rare in this world today, right? And the only way you can handle those things is through the grace of God, right? The Lord said we're called to be obedient to Him and to His leading and His instruction. You know, the Lord says we cannot be people pleasers because people pleasers will get you in the abyss and you'll reincarnate again. But if you be obedient to the leading instructions of the Lord, he will give you life thereafter. You know what I mean? And then you don't have to come back here no more. You know, therefore, we make it our arms, whether present or absence, to be well pleasing to God. For
For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Yahushua Hamashiach, that everyone may receive things done in the body according to what he has done, whether he did good or bad. We all going to be weighed on a scale. Let's hope all our goodness outweighs the bad. You know what I'm saying? And instead of Yeshua saying, get from before me, he'd be like, here you go. He's just ground. Come on, baby. Walk your behind on in. <laughs> that's what you want to hear God say. All right, so that's the word for the week. I got two more videos I'm making for you guys. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. And be happy. No matter what you're going through in life today, be happy. If you need deliverance, you need breakthrough, you need money, whatever it is, you're tired of the market, you're like, Daddy, it's November 3rd. What up? We only got November, December left. Come on, son got break, Daddy. Son got break, Daddy. Son got break, Daddy. It's all right. Just remember, be happy in the Lord. Be happy in your life. You know, don't be sad. You know, I know it's gloomy, doomy all around us, but that's okay. We serve a mighty God. No, we're not in days. No, the rapture's not coming right now. It may seem like it, but the devil's not going to get away with it. I told y'all that in 2019, the Lord said the devil's going to try and bring the book of Revelation. And there is the path. And it was going to seem like he was getting away with it but in the end god's gonna stop him that war everything their plans that they want to plan against is to destroy this nation to destroy this world it is not going to happen now and say this with me father i joy in you i joy in you i'm peaceful in you i'm happy in you i'm liberated in you father and i know your plans is for my good and i know i've been waiting a long time for you to do this and to do that but daddy it's about to come the season has come the season has come spiritually it's about to manifest <laughs> Shalom.